Welcome back to Andy Tube. This is going to be part 15 of my series of a Singer Model 404 full restoration. And I'm at the point with this restoration now that um, before I start reassembling everything, I want to put a light coat of wax because I'm going to be uh, trying to get off any residue of the cleaning, any mineral deposits. Uh, any stains, things like that, and I, a, a light coat of wax will protect the finish while I'm reassembling, and I'm, I'm bound to get fingerprints and oil and stuff on the surface here and there, so um, that's why I, I put some wax. Mostly what I use is this uh, McGuire's uh, cleaner wax in the, in the liquid form, because it's real easy to apply. And you just, you, you know, you put it on in a circular motion and you let it dry. And you can wax the whole machine at one time and, and let it dry. And then go back and uh, buff it off. So I like to use that and that's usually sufficient. Um, sometimes if I, I want a little bit more of a deeper clean or I feel I need it, I've used this product occasionally, and I don't know if it's a Zymol, Zymol, but it's a cleaner wax also, and it's been around a long time from what I could see, and I heard about this a number of years ago from a friend that used it on his personal vehicles, and uh, it does, it, it, it works at least as good as the Meguiar's um, does, but I found that it's a little harder to use because you, you can't let it, uh, you're not supposed to let it dry on the paint. So you have to do like smaller sections and, you know, put it on in a back and forth motion for about like 10 seconds. And as it starts to dry, wipe, wipe it off and then buff it. Uh, but I have used it and it's a good product. And sometimes I've got uh, scratches, uh, light scratches on the paint or the plastic surfaces, if there are any. Now, I, I came across this product uh, called Novus Fine Scratch Remover. And this is Formula 2. They make three formula. This is kind of like the medium fine. And it's really for plastic. But I found it works good on the type of paint that Singer used. And I've also used it just for just real fine hazing type scratches on metal. So I've used that before. And uh, I like to do the machine at this point because I haven't put the covers and pieces and stuff back on. So I have real good access to, uh, to everything. I know I can't show you that much scratches and dirt on, uh, you know, through a video with my quality of camera and everything, but this is the, the bottom plate, the oil pan, and it's actually pretty dull and it has some you know, fine scratches and marks on it and so forth. So I'll just show you more of an application method. Um, I buy these round waxing pads at uh, the dollar store, and you get two for a dollar. And I cut them in about six pieces or so, um, because it's just a machine. You know, it's not a it's not a car. <laughs> so they seem to work real good and be a good value. And all of these um, products. I put the product on a pad or a cloth or whatever I'm going to use to apply it. And the McGuire's wax goes on in a circular motion. And uh, I just get it on there, spread it around real good, wherever I'm going to apply it. And like I said, I like it because you, you can just let it dry. As a matter of fact, like for your car, it says wax your whole car and let it dry, and then buff it off. So that's uh, peels. That's an easy method of peeling to me. 
So you can see the oxidation coming off. That's why they call it a cleaner wax. So you know, at eyesight, the paint doesn't look too bad, but there's definitely going to be oxidation on a 60-year-old paint job. So that's that's how that goes on. Um, let me do this spot down towards the bottom with the Z mole. Take another little uh, applicator here, and now this one it says to go back and forth, not in circles. And again, you're not supposed to let it dry. Maybe I'll do that up in this corner since that's the uh, another cleaner wax. So put it on here. And believe me, I got way too much for the area I'm doing. But 10 seconds goes by pretty fast. They tell you to do an area on your car like 2 feet by 2 feet. So, but anyway, I can see it starting to, to haze up there. So it's already starting to dry. So... Let me get that wiped off. It says wipe off the excess, which I had plenty of, and then you're going to buff it up. So you got to do all that right away. So, now, they say on here, if you want an extra shine, that you can <clears throat> mist this with a fine mist of a little bit of water and buff it up some more. And that says that it helps spread the product around better and level it out. And uh, the smoother, I know that for light ref refraction, the smoother the surface is, the better the shine's going to be. So that's that's that would be finished if this if I was using the Zymol. And there's the it takes off a little bit more of the paint than the Meguiar's, in my opinion. Okay. Then I'll do this section down here with this uh, Novus plastic or scratch remover for plastic. And now this Novus goes on in a circular motion and you're supposed to rub it on uh, until it dries. Now because it's a scratch remover even though it's for plastic to me, it takes, it's the most aggressive at removing the paint. Okay. Maybe see that's taken off more. And then af after that, you, you know, buff it up. Now, my Meguiar's cleaner wax has long ago dried, so I'll go ahead and uh, do that, buff that off. And again, I, I like that Meguiar's the best, I guess, because I, I can even put a coat of wax on it and go do something. And I've left it on there as long as a whole, you know, like 24 hours and come back and just buff it off. So, I don't have a lot of hope that you'll be able to see the shine that well. Uh, to me, the Meguiar's leaves it the shiniest. And then the, the Zymol, definitely, it's smooth and, and waxed and shiny. Just not as much as the Meguiar's. And the Nova Scratch Remover, when I've done that, especially like on the, on the bed where there's been a lot of wear, any place there's been a lot of wear from um, previous owners, I then, uh, it does help remove very fine scratches. 
and the and the polishing gives it a smoother surface so it does reflect re, uh, reflect the light better now you have to remember that this uh, Novus is just a polish it really doesn't have any wax so it's um, you know polished it up and it is more shiny but there's no protection for me when I'm doing my thing to, to reassemble it so if I do use the, the polish on areas uh, I didn't I then go back and put a coat of the Meguiar's cleaner wax on it which will uh, protect it and by the time I'm done with the whole restoration this is the first coat I'll put two three or four more coats of wax on the whole machine before I'm done you can still see some of that paint came off even after I used the polish see that so those are just some of the products and I've used other wax and stuff automobile wax seems to be the best I've used some appliance polish uh, before that my wife uses on her white refrigerator and clothes washer and stuff and it did okay too so just the idea that uh, before I'm going to start the reassembly I like to polish out any small fine scratches if I have them and put a light coat of uh, wax on there just to help protect the surface surface now I've got it so clean and degreased but the paints kind of bare so it's kind of like the bare metal after I wash the machine I go and put a, a protective coat of oil on it to to protect all the metal surfaces that's kind of what I feel I'm doing with this first uh, cleaner wax light wax uh, coat so I would still I don't know I would still feel like the I, I just I guess I just like the Meguiar's cleaner wax the most and I use a Meguiar's Carnuba wax after this the other waxings but if I've got some pretty dull paint in areas I will use the Zemol and if I've got some fine scratching especially on the, well, let me show you like this isn't plastic it's painted but areas like here areas by the uh, positioning lever indicator plate and the stitch feed regulator indicator plate just where people in the normal course of sewing have touched stuff a lot I will use this and it goes a long way uh, you, you don't need much at all but it does get out some of the finer scratches since it's made for plastic and it uh, turns out uh, ready for waxing and it's a little cleaner um, and I let's see if, let me get this camera up here a little bit now the areas that I'll, I'll just wax everything um, and I like to do this with with all this stuff off because I can get under where it's going to go and get all the edges all the little spaces real nice without the stuff in my way for the first coating and uh, you know I do the top cover and the, the nose the front end cover things like that um, when I go to do the um, I'll do the hand wheel Let me show you that so a lot of times I just do this when I'm watching TV you know wax on wax off and I put a little bit of this Meguiar's on the hand wheel and I put it on the edge of the wheel too and I put it on the back of the wheel but not on this ridge where the bobbin winder ring or bobbin winder tire goes but I'll, I'll put it on the back because you can kind of see the edge 
inside of that edge when the machine is assembled and I want it to just really look brand new I want it to really look nice so you know I'll usually what I'll buff it do is kind of wax all the parts I'm gonna wax and then when I wax the last one I go back to the first one and I'll of course the wax is long dry and I'll, I'll buff it up and I I uh, like to use these cheese cloths that I bought because they're really good at removing the wax so I'll buff it up and then right away I'll put another coat of wax on it as I work down the line and I'm watching the news on TV or maybe the radio something like that so it's just very easy to do and it really pays off and I, I found by doing this pre-coat just a light pre-coat really gives it protection and when I have the machine all assembled and go to finish I if I got fingerprints and stuff all over I can just take a damp cotton cloth and wipe it down dry it off and then put some more wax on the end so that's that that's my polishing and pre-waxing and the cleaner wax I wish I really wish you could see it better, but you know how wax when you, you know how it looks when you wax stuff. So that's part 15. Now we're going to start getting into the reassembly of the machine. So that's the fun part. It's like we did all the hard stuff now, so we get to do the the fun part of putting all those clean, shiny, freshly oiled parts back together. And getting them all tuned up and adjusted thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time I hope you come back take care